Hi there, welcome to A Well Purpose Woman. Today we're gonna to be making these cute little mini wreaths that take about 15 minutes to make. To make this mini wreath, you're going to use an eight inch wire wreath form and ribbon that is two inches by 25 feet. Start by taking your floral wire and just cutting off a small piece and then take the end of your ribbon and fold it in half. Wrap the ribbon around the innermost ring of the wire wreath form and then you're just going to take your floral wire and poke it through both parts of the ribbon so that you can secure the ribbon onto the wire wreath form with the floral wire. Once the ribbon is secured onto the wire wreath form, then you're just gonna take the ribbon and poke it through each of the sections of the wire wreath form. So just bubble the ribbon a couple of inches through each of the sections. And then you're gonna turn the wreath over and you're gonna twist the ribbon on the back side and come back up to the first innermost section of the wreath and then just bubble or poke the ribbon through the sections again. So you're just going to repeat the same process throughout the whole wreath. It is a little tricky on these mini wreaths when you're first getting started. So again, it's just poke the ribbon through both sections of the wreath. You can scrunch it a little bit, turn it around on the back side, and then twist the ribbon before coming up again to poke the ribbon through the wreath form. And you're just repeating that like I mentioned over and over until the wreath is covered. And this small 8 inch wreath did use about 25 feet of ribbon. You could probably use even more than that. Like if you buy three 9 foot rolls, um, you could use closer to 27 feet. And you just have a little bit fuller wreath. So I think I used just kind of what I had on hand, which is the 25 feet. And it worked well and filled in the wreath nicely. So that would be sufficient as well. But again, you twist on the back side and then pull the ribbon through the first and second section creating little bubbles and then when you've done that flip the wreath over twist the ribbon on the back side and then come back up on the sections on the um, wreath and I will link below for the full size ribbon wreath tutorial I know a lot of people have mentioned that was super easy to follow and they really appreciated that tutorial so if you want to do a larger wreath to start i will link that below but that will give you an idea of how to do the same technique just with a larger ribbon in a larger wreath form but here's one more look at this mini wreath so feed the ribbon through the sections by making little bubbles in each section once each section is full flip the wreath over twist and come back up to the front of the wreath and bubble through the sections again and once you finish your ribbon length or you come to the end of the ribbon then you're going to attach it back onto the wire wreath form with the floral wire so just like you did at the beginning you're just going to fold it in half and then twist the floral wire around the ribbon securing it onto the wreath form just like you see in the picture when my wreath was complete, I did notice a couple areas where I could see the wire of the wreath form sticking through. So then I just went back through and fluffed up my ribbon around the wire wreath so you couldn't see it anymore. There were a couple areas like this and just fluffing the ribbon helped to hide the wire wreath form. And then the last thing to do is to find something to hang the wreath with. Um, I had these little red felt balls. I thought were cute for hanging the wreath but then I actually ended up liking just some basic red and white ribbon a little bit better because I'm making this wreath for Valentine's Day but it could also be really cute for Christmas um, or any time really in between because I love the color red and that's really all there is to making these cute little mini wreaths for Valentine's Day Christmas or any time in between thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again happy crafting